Belarusia, which goes for number two. Belarusia number two. Меня зовут Евгений, мы представляем Динамо Минск, Беларусь. Я считаю, что это очень интересный опыт для наших ребят, для всех команд, что это мероприятие имеет большие перспективы. Своим оппонентам я хочу пожелать проявить свои бойцовские качества на ринге, показать все, что они умеют в, честном, в честной борьбе. Tajman, jestem z Chorzowa, z grupy Psychofans. Jest to bardzo fajny pomysł, dlatego tutaj jesteśmy i bardzo dziękujemy za zaproszenie. Powodzenia. Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you on the second fight of second team championship event. We are using unified MMA rules. The condition for the victory is last man standing. And we welcome Sergei Domnin, our main judge, and his team. And let's meet first team for the second fight. It's Psycho Fans, Corzo, Poland. And let's meet second team for the second fight. It's DH from Minsk, Belarus. <laughs> Shake hands, touch the gloves. Keep the rules, protect yourself, and good luck. Judges. Sergey Domnin. It's them both who know to keep the rules. This is DH of Minsk, Belarus, or Belarusia, versus Psycho Fans of Corzo, Poland. Fight number two. Event number two, Team Fighting Championships. My name is Jim Cooley. Extreme hobby, durability, and rivalry. And here we go, fight number two, event number two. In the silver and gray, we have the psycho fans of Corzo, Poland. And in the purple, DH of Minsk, Belarus. 
Instantly we have a half guard, raining down elbows. Bigger man versus the smaller man, he's gonna use his power to, to gain full mount right away. Instantly dropping strikes. And you can instantly see the Psycho fans taking control of this fight. And this is just heavy leather being thrown. Huge size difference here. Throws a right hand, gets the forearm in there, not necessarily the punch. Sees just action all over the place in the team fighting championships. Five on five. Poland versus Belarus. DH versus the Psycho fans. Here you have a triangle attempt. See the referees or the judges as they're called in the TFC. Breaking up one fight over there. You're gonna pull them away from the ropes. Big knee attempted to the head there. Partially blocked by the Belarus fighter. Elbows, strikes being hammered down, rain down, hammer fist. Here we have another full mount. Psycho fan on top. Triangle choke and he taps. And that's gonna be another eliminated fighter for Minsk, DH. Nice submission there as he lands that triangle. Here you have two big, big fighters. Double teaming one, full mount, heavy leather being dropped. He's almost caught in the ropes there. Relentless, you can see the big Damage to the right forehead, the right temple. Big knees to the head there, which are perfectly legal in the TFC. Big knees. Here an attempt at a rear naked choke. He's able to turn in, but with the teammate, MMA fighter throwing big kicks there. And it looks like he's gonna be eliminated. Nope, they're gonna push him right back in. We got a four on one situation. Four on one, down to three on one at this point. And he's in big trouble here and he's eliminated. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. You can see big lefts being dropped. He's got full side control here. And now he's gonna get help from his teammate. Two teammates, got a kick to the head, punches to the ribs, he's done. And this like that, this fight is over. Very quickly, the psycho fans of Corzo Poland eliminate DH. And the winner for the second fight is Psycho fans, Corzo Poland. And you heard it right there, Svetlana announced the Psycho fans of Corzo Poland as your winners. Fight number two, TFC event number two. And we're gonna take a look at the individual fights here, walk you through some of the highlights. Belarus versus Janek of Poland. Boxing versus MMA. Yeah. 
And Janek instantly takes him down. He's in a half guard here. Talija trying to keep that half guard and also keep him from posturing. He's got a hold of that right arm. If he can keep that right arm and keep this half guard, he's just going to try to keep Janek from posturing and raining down blows. But he's going to rain him down to the back of the head anyway. And you see him throw an elbow there to stop the teammate of Talija from coming in. And he's counting on his teammate to do that. And you see Janek still in control. Talija not, as, as of yet, able to mount any offense. All he can do is continue to try to cover his head, keep control of that right arm of Janek, keep that half guard, maybe even try to transition to full guard. You see the big knees coming in now from the bigger man, Janek, of the Psycho fans. And the Belarus fighter's in trouble here. The strength of Janek is a little too much for him. He's not at all making an attempt to transition into full guard. He's not working to separate. He's not trying to sweep. He's basically just trying to survive. And those big elbows are coming down hard. And then the knees, the legal knees to the head. And here comes his teammate to help him. And it looks like the ref's gonna step in. The judge is gonna step in and stop this. And no, he doesn't. Another big left knee to the head, followed by a forearm. And again, it's full survival mode for Talija of Minsk, Belarus, DH. As Janek, psycho fans, Korzo Poland continues to throw knees to both the body and the head, followed by left hands. And he's, he's lost half guard here. He's got his arm pinned between the legs of Janek, his right arm, his left arm's gonna get key locked here. Oh, he let go of that, continues to strike. Attempted submission hold there from Janek, and now he's getting help from his teammates. We got soccer kicks to the head, and now the judges will step in, the referees. And just like that, Talisha's eliminated. And Janek of Poland will win that one. versus Tager from Poland, boxing versus MMA. Tager, the much bigger man. You can see the Polish fighter, big kick to the much smaller man, Andrzej. Polish fighter just too, too strong for the Belarus fighter. Some dirty boxing there employed trying to combat the strength and just overpowering size of the Polish fighter. And then the double team doesn't help. Two gigantic men on the much smaller fighter. And he's measuring those punches is the Polish fighter. Full mount, and now he's gonna work his legs and his lower body. And that's it for Andre. Wrestler from Belarus takes on Hazier from Poland. MMA discipline. And we join the action in progress as Hager is down. Looks like he's attempting a submission hold here, but you can see. Glebin the wrestler doing decent. He's gonna get triangled here. Not only is he being triangled, but he's also being struck at the same time. He's gonna look to finish this triangle. He's gonna need to reach up and pull his head down. He's gotta isolate that arm and pull that head down. 
I was going to turn it to an armbar. Power bomb by Glebin the wrestler. As we said, with that wrestling background, he's very, very strong. And now the triangle's in tighter, though. And that can, that is a definite danger of the power bomb, is just allowing your opponent to sink that triangle in tighter. And he has to tap, and Hazier will take the win there. 